coronavirus has reached the UK. Two patients from the same family in England tested positive on Friday. They are the first such cases in Britain. A woman in her 70s has become the first person with coronavirus to die in the UK. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Now is the time for everyone to stop non-essential contact with others. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. On the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. So I am working from home. I'm self-isolating. During the course of this afternoon, the Prime Minister's condition worsened and on the advice of the medical team, who's moved in to a critical care unit. And the care homes have done all the right things uh, against all the odds. To add insult to injury by asking us to take uh, COVID-19 positive patients is asking us to basically make out the suicide note for people in care. I have today left hospital after a week in which the NHS has saved my life, no question. First it was the army, now it's the fire brigade, drafted in to distribute personal protective equipment, PPE, across London to health and social care workers. But distributing it is one thing, sourcing it is an entirely different matter. Channel 4 News has spoken to a number of distributors and manufacturers who have made offers to the government, repeated offers, only to hear nothing back. In the seventh week of the lockdown, the United Kingdom has now recorded Europe's highest number of deaths linked to coronavirus. We have overtaken Italy, that was the first country in the world, to instigate a national lockdown to control the pandemic. We now need to stress that anyone who can't work from home, for instance, those in construction or manufacturing, should be actively encouraged to go to work and we want it to be safe for you to get to work. So you should avoid public transport if at all possible. I can understand that some people will argue that I should have stayed at my home in London throughout. I understand these views. I know the intense hardship and sacrifice that the entire country has had to go through. However, I respectfully disagree. In a week that has seen thousands across the UK take to the streets against racial injustice, once again people are gathering here at Parliament Square. This is just one demonstration planned for cities across the UK despite government ministers warning people to stay away because of lockdown rules. Now, there's been a major change in the UK government's approach to tracing people using a smartphone, uh, an app developed by the NHS. Uh, ministers have now decided that the app, which has been trialled on the Isle of Wight, is now going to use technology provided by Apple and Google. The original aim was to get the app up and running by mid-May, uh, but there's still no date for its full operation. We want to give people more confidence to shop safely and enhance protections for those who work in shops. Both of these can be done by the use of face coverings. We need to because the pandemic is not yet over. So we need to, you know, be responsible for other people. The government has said it was absolutely necessary to reimpose quarantine restrictions on arrivals from Spain a day after the change came into effect with just a few hours notice. 
The UK has fallen into its largest recession on record because of the coronavirus lockdown, contracting by more than 20% between April and June in the biggest slump of any major global economy. Incredibly sorry for all those students who have uh, been through this. When we came up with uh, the system, which was uh, broadly supported across the spectrum of uh, uh, you know, calculated grades, uh, what we were doing is to ensure that we have the fairest possible system, making sure that we look after the interests of all students. But when it became apparent that there were unfairnesses within the system, is the right thing to act. There are fears struggling city centres may never recover if people don't return to their offices. Now is the time, says the government, for white-collar workers to go back to their desks. The last day of government subsidised meals and people were queuing down the street to get into the most popular restaurants in London. Inside the kitchens, the heat was on as they worked to deliver meals with 50% off up to a maximum of £10. 